Another helicopter ran into trouble today and was forced to land at YPO Soccer Park. The pilot tells us he and his passenger were on their way to help with the search for the chopper that crashed off Molokai. Pilot Daniel Speller says the pilot of the chopper that crashed is his best friend. While he feels lucky that no one was hurt from his forced landing, he's disappointed that he's not able to help with the search. Manola Morales joins us now from YPA. Manola? Well, Joe, the pilot and his passenger were forced to land here at the YPO soccer complex. Now, they tell me they took off from Kalailoa at about 1 o'clock this afternoon, and about five minutes into the flight, they both heard some unusual vibrations. It's quite big, low frequency vibrations. It was just shaking the entire helicopter. Um, that made me nervous. Once the, the engine quit three seconds later, Everything went smooth and I became a lot less nervous. Speller tells me they were at an altitude of a thousand feet when it happened. He saw the soccer fields nearby and felt fortunate that he was able to bring the chopper down for a safe landing. But his plans to help search for his best friend are now put on hold. We were just on our way to Honolulu um, and we've been uh, coordinating with one of my friends who's in coordination with uh, the Coast Guard. Uh, we got permission for one civilian helicopter to go and assist with their search. Um, those guys are already over there and they're actually just heading back. Uh, we were then working on getting a second and maybe a third um, helicopter granted permission to assist with the search. So we were just going to Honolulu to make sure that we were correctly positioned, fueled and ready to go as soon as we got the, the green light from the Coast Guard. Disappointing then in that sense that you couldn't do that. Very disappointing. Speller tells me he's not sure why the chopper's engine just died. He says the owner bought the helicopter this year and it only has 170 hours of flying time, so it's practically new. He's still hoping that he can help with the search later on. Certainly, uh, it was lucky as far as what happened with your flight here. Yeah, yeah, everything uh, worked out well here, and I'm just hoping that, that we can find the, the guys off, off Molokai. Now, Speller tells me he's been flying for about four years. I asked him if these, these strong winds made it more difficult to land the helicopter. And he says not at all. In fact, it made it easier to glide down and land safely. Live from YPO, Manolo Morales, KHON 2 News.